Hi, this is Stacia, and I wanted to share a trap line that can be found in the Slav exchange variation. So if you play this as white, like I do, or if you play against this, run into this as black, on um, your Slav player, um, then it's definitely something you want to be aware of. Okay, and um, so th this starts off with a Queen's Gambit. So C4 is a Queen's Gambit. C6 is the Slav and here I like to take and play the exchange variation. So in this position, the moves are pretty automatic, which is why this trap you'll see this trap quite often. So knight c3, just developing. This is the main line. Um, a lot of times black will just develop their knight. Bishop f4, um, a top move in the Slav exchange. And yeah, a comment about this move. In the Slav exchange, white is trying to claim that the, their bishop is slightly better than this bishop. We're hoping to get black to play e6 and then say we're slightly better because we have a better bishop outside the chain. That's all it really is. All right, and now in the game I played, and you'll see this, black played the move bishop g4. So exerting a pin on my e pawn. Um, Hoping, you know, in Blitz, they hope that you'll forget and just automatically play e3 and just lose your queen. <laughs> I think I've done that, <laughs> sadly. Um, a lot of times, even more common than bishop g5, you'll, you'll find bishop f5. And in either case, this trap works. So, all right, um, in this game, it was bishop g4, and immediately you can play the move queen b3. Queen b3 is a powerful move. It's the top computer choice. So what I like about this trap is that um, this is the best move anyways. It's not like you're playing something suspicious and then if they don't fall for it, you're worse or something. No, this is a, a good move no matter what. You're exerting pressure on, on the d pawn. You're attacking the b pawn straight away. And you're also asking this bishop, why are you in g4? Makes no sense. <laughs> All right. So... Black has to be very careful in this position. And what you'll see a lot of times is they don't want to lose their B pawn. So they might play a move like B6. But B6 is a huge blunder because we're going to play Knight B5. And now you can see the C7 square is awfully tender and black's in big trouble. The computer already gives white a plus 2.8 evaluation, which essentially means we're winning material here. All right, so black will a lot of times play knight a6. This is the best move in the position. So defending c7, but white has a crushing blow here. So if you'd like to pause your video for a moment and figure out what the move is, do so now. Okay, and the move is queen a4. So yeah, white is completely winning here. Um, we are X-ring the king and attacking the undefended knight, and there's no way to defend both. The computer gives bishop d7 as the best move here, which is kind of funny because we're just going to take the knight. Thank you very much. And if black plays something silly, like they just move their knight, um, then we have this funny move. Checkmate. <laughs> it's a double check. And you could also play it this way. And what else does the computer give? Um, the computer does give queen d7 as a move, but I mean, again, this is just big trouble. Um, in this position, we can play, yeah, um, queen takes is fine. All right, so you're just going to win material right out of the opening. Now, I did want to go over um, some other moves that black has, because black can avoid this trap. Um, and in that case, we get three good games, though, still. So one thing black can do here besides b6 is play the move queen b6. And... This is actually the move I hate to see the most. Um, this is the most testing move. Here, the best option is to take the queen, and black is going to take back. And 
in this variation, um, black has these isolated B pawns, but they could argue that they, their rook is active now in the A file. And um, the game's going to be centered around trying to get play on these pawns, and hopefully our, our queenside pawns will win the day. So you want to try and win one of these and then have a majority on the queen side. Um, so it's still a good game. It's just probably the hardest to deal with. Um, another move that black might play in this position um, is the move knight to c6. Um, so in this case, they're, they're saying go ahead and take our b pawn. And this is actually good for us. So I do take black up on this uh, idea. And a lot of times they might, you know, attack the queen. White has a really good move here um, that gives a pretty good advantage. And if you want to pause your video and guess what that move is, go ahead and do so now. Okay, and this is sort of a strategic idea. The move is queen c7. And this absolutely forces a queen trade. We're on this undefended knight. And we're attacking the queen. So queen takes c7, bishop takes. And even after knight c4, we're just up a pawn. And the computer says black has no compensation for this. Um, so this is you're just going to get a good game out of this. All right. And um, the final move I wanted to show is one of the best moves, but it's kind of funny, and it shows you how strong queen b3 is, because the best move in this position is bishop c8. <laughs> so that's just a really sad move for black. But after bishop c8, um, black's not going to have any tricks to worry about, and we can just develop normally now, like e3. And, you know, they should probably just play e6 now and... This just becomes a normal Slav exchange, except white has gained tempo. So white's, you know, plus 0.5 better, according to the computer. So you get that slight edge that you want in the, in the Slav exchange. Um, so, okay, I'll just go through the trap one last time for fun. So it's the Slav exchange, bishop f4, and then this is the, the inaccuracy. Is this bishop move to g4 or f5? Queen b3, strong move, and should they play b6? Why is it doing this to me? Oh, I deleted it. <laughs> if they play b6, what do we play here? Knight b5. They try to defend. Queen a4, just an absolute crushing blow. And then the best move here, bishop d7, and we just win a piece. So pretty nice. All right, um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video and learned something. Um, this trap is great for blitz games, by the way. I've even had it work over the board, um, so I hope it works for you too. And uh, have a great day, and happy chess. <laughs>